Oh, hey. Uh, for you'd be in the bar. Uh, some clothes would be good. Come on, don't go call me. <laughs> I'm not. What's Coley, anyway? Listen. About last no, night. No, 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 can we, can we just brain wipe it? Listen, it's wiped. You're absolutely right. I completely misread the signals. How many times? There were no signals, right? There really weren't. OK, if you say so. Yeah, I do. Because the only signal I'm giving off right now is a stress one. Especially with what Debbie's going through. Yeah, point, point taken. Morning, Smiler. What are you doing? Says you. Whatever. Stop staring at me. Hey, hey, love, listen to this. The York Sharks were saved from the jaws of defeat by a last minute 80 yard try by Ed Roberts, who was later named Man of the Match. You want to get well in there, son, because this lad's really going places, and I am not talking about the hot and road. <laughs> Oh, come on, I was Yeah, you were putting in a gang because you can't help yourself. Only this time, save your breath because it's finished. What have you done this time? You see, thanks for that. It never crossed your mind that it might be him. What the... Zip it. Hey, here he is. Man of the match. Last night's game. I read the report to Aaron. He was dead interested. Really? Yeah, in that kind of um, disinterested way that Aaron is about most things in life. So is he around? Yes, he's there. All right. Why don't you go and sit down? I'll bring you a drink over. Didn't know whether to come. I keep changing my mind, but I owe you an apology. You were right to kick off, and I was bang out of order. Just a bit. Look, Aaron, I'm not perfect by any means. But I know you've been through well. And I'm sorry the way I reacted. Well, you were just being honest. Just rewind, please. Here you go, lads. Enjoy. Cheers. So what do you think? I think I don't want to rewind. Because now I know how you really feel. No, you don't. I won't make the same mistake twice. I guarantee you that. No. No, no, Ed, don't go. He likes you. He's just being an idiot. Who's an idiot? Why can't he just be normal? Not a hetero normal, normal, normal. Happy, gay, in the old fashioned sense of the word. Are we really having this conversation uh, again? He will push away every good thing that comes his way unless he gets a grip. And all we can do is sit and watch. Breaks my heart, Paddy. Right, where's Leo? Upstairs. Right? We well, said you needed a babysitter. Yeah. I didn't think you'd come, though. But what are you waiting for? The thing is, you made all this up, haven't you? No, 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 no. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. I did, uh, no, no, I, I just, I just want to discuss something. Just like men, men stuff, which you know we clearly are. So what's this then? Hey, pep talk number fifty-six. Listen, <laughs> when your best mates with Marlon, you become an expert. Just come back in. I've got some beer. This has got my mum written all over it. What did I tell you? She worries. Right, all right. Here it is. In a nutshell, I met Ed, and he seemed all right, but then it was over before it even started, because. But I don't know, he made me feel about that big. Anyway, it's game over. Nothing to see, move along. You happy? So, he, he, he dissed you, did he? You what? Yeah, I suppose he did. Right. Come on, let's have a beer then. It better not be that cheap stuff. It's not. Did he binge you off because of Jackson? It's just pathetic. Yeah, exactly. But at least he's made his feelings clear. At the taxi rank? No, Paddy, before that, keep up. It's when he got all sheepish at the taxi rank. Right. So if he made his feelings clear at the pub, why did he turn up today? Lee reckons to say sorry. But that's a good thing, isn't it? No, because I blew him out. Why? Because Paddy, I'm fed up of it all. If he wants to get all uptight about something he's heard, then that's his problem. 
Agreed. Anyway, I'm just glad he's told me now rather than further down the line when I really start to like him. So you didn't like him massively anyway? Aaron, just, just out of interest, how did he react when you said on your bike? He just said that if he could rewind, then he would. You know, it was just a little blip and that if I gave him a second chance, then he could guarantee that he wouldn't make the same mistake twice. He could guarantee it. I screwed up, Anna. Yeah? <laughs> Can you not just cut him a bit of slack? You're worse at this than me. <laughs> <sighs> so what do I do? I don't know, what do you want to do? Look, Art Callings have deleted his number, so it's finished. Aaron, this isn't about him. It's about you. The slightest whiff of somebody hurting you and you run a mile. No, nah, it's too late. Only if you want it to be. You know, this is all just a big game of chance, don't you? Do you really want to wind up being a sad old man because you didn't have the guts to go for it? Because you will do. People will point and laugh in the streets and say, hey, there's that sad old get that nobody loves. All right. Then what are you going to do? Oh, hi, love. What can I get you? Pint. He left a message. And? That's it. What, has he called him back? I don't think so. But you're not sure? Well... Well, go on, then. Uh, uh, All right, don't worry. I'm definitely not going to ask you whether he's called you back yet. And neither she. Look at her. He's just really happy, just pulling pints. All right, all right. Has, he, has he called you back yet? No. No, he hasn't, all right? Mum, do you hear that? He hasn't called me back. Do you want me to go and tell Marlon as well? <sighs> right, Karen. Do you think you could help me out with something? Can I start telling jokes about rugby players, or is it too soon? Because you know there's a whole world of innuendo about tackle and funny shaped balls. Yeah, fill your boots. Hey, all on your lonesome. Katie finally seen sense. I'm meeting a client. Oh, for breakfast. Do you want a pint? Please. So, is it somebody famous? It is, isn't it? It's that Mumford and his sons. Actually, it's someone who's going to drain a field for me. But... Wow, how sharp is are you? I'll bring it over. Thank you. Don't believe a word of it. He has definitely been having secret talks with the Wanted. You've given this some thought, you haven't you? About the Wanted? Yeah. But Declan's not usually involved. Don't worry about that, Pint. I'll see you later. No, come on, love. Stay for another half. No. And don't worry, because I'm fine. I'm quite glad, actually, it wouldn't have worked. What wouldn't have worked? 